y'all my skin i'm sorry let me just hi y'all how y'all doing girl do not adjust your tv screen yeah honey it is me it is me this is going to be a uh disclaimer before we get into this particular vlog um, the footage that you're about to see is before everyone went batshit crazy and stole all the tissue paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is day two of us practicing self-isolation. Girl, I'm an introvert. We're all introverts. And we're like, what does this mean? I think it's, I think it's hilarious how they, how they are describing what to do, but let me back up. Let me not jump ahead. So you guys, I've decided to come back because, um, of course, everything's shutting down. Our schools are shutting down. Those of you who are not in the U.S., let me just explain. Um, our schools are shutting down. Um, restaurants, bars, churches are shutting down. We are told to stay in our houses, um, store up on supplies. The grocery stores have limited products. We are rationing stuff. And that is the day that we are living in right now. Um, it is... March 17th, 2020, but Miss Jackson and her family are blessed and highly favored. Look, let me tell you guys, the reason why I wanted to come back, well, several reasons. One, everything's shutting down, Gray. I'm working, I, bought, I, mean, I work from home. I've always worked from home for a while now, um, but I'm noticing we're steady, busy, but it's backing up a little bit. And plus with JB being home, I have time. Um, I've had a mix of emotions about this entire ordeal and look, what we're not going to do on my vlog coming back, because I know y'all sick of hearing it. I'm, I'm not going to talk about this on every vlog and we're not. You're going to see us do everyday stuff inside the house. You're going to see me cooking. My skin is breaking out because I'm eating all types of different food. I just want you to know that every vlog is not going to be about this, this corn, corona, cor this whole, you know, this virus. <laughs> The Rona. We're going to call it Rona. That's what everyone's been nicknaming the black folks name of Rona. We would not be discussing the Rona virus on every dang on vlog. I'm not doing that, okay? Because um, I think that just increases anxiety. Unless it's from a healthy perspective. Like, yeah, girl, the Rona virus is done. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it. But this is the only vlog where we will really get into it. Because honestly, okay, so yeah, we're on day two of self-isolation. Um, our governor here in Phoenix, Arizona, excuse me, the governor of uh, Arizona officially closed the schools on Sunday. Now, the things that made me, the thing that made me very frustrated, a couple of things, the hoarding in the stores, Walmart, Target, crazy. We have enough supplies for two weeks, but there are certain things that we're still running low on, like toilet paper. But you know what? We have other things in here that we could use. Look, y'all, if anything, I know that people of color are very resilient people, baby. Okay? So I'm good. I got tons of food. I have enough food to last me for a month, but I've always been that way. And look, y'all know that I was a prepper before. My stockpile that I had, I have. This is why I'm telling y'all, you gotta really listen to your intuition. If something was telling me, I'm sharing y'all this, sharing this with y'all, sharing this with y'all now, now, a few months ago, something was urging me, you need to get back on your prepping, you need to get back on it. And I was like, whatever. But I did, I pulled it out, I looked at it, I looked at it, and I started collecting little bitty of things. And sure enough, a lot of the stuff you cannot find in the store, like antibacterial lotion, is done. I have it. Now, one thing I have been doing, I'm not just saying it's all mine. I've given one to my ch child's school because my son's school is having care. I'll talk about that later on. I gave one to my son's school. I gave one to my neighbor who, um, she has a weak immune system, okay? I have one too, but y'all, anyway, let me get back. So, I've been going through a mix of emotions, frustrated. First, I was with a lot of y'all. I was scared as hell, panicked. Especially when I saw there was no eggs. <laughs> Panicked, worried, concerned, absolutely. Anxiety, anxiety was up there. That lasted 24 hours. And I got right. I got right with God. I, I went back to reading my Bible, reading a few more scriptures. I got right. That doesn't mean it's not going to come back. Yeah, it's come back some way. But right now, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated at what I see in the stores. I'm frustrated, 
I'm frustrated at what I see on social media. I'm not on Facebook that much anymore. Let me tell you something. If you are going through anxiety, if you're panic, don't be getting on Facebook and Instagram looking at all this stuff. I know some of you guys have sent me messages. I read them later on. I may not respond right away because I'm not on it. So I know some of you are like, well, why are you making videos? These videos that I'm going to be making is to help you to relieve your anxiety and hell, mine's too. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, we are doing good. Let me tell you something. We know who has the last say, okay? I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. Um, I'm good. And especially after speaking to my husband, I'm not... I'm not going to get into all of that. Those of you who don't know, my husband is a, a lab supervisor. He has 20 years of studying infectious diseases. I'm just going to say this. We, he had a patient that came in positive. The guy walked out with his meds and they told him to stay home, you know, drink plenty of fluids and basically treat your symptoms. And he's good. Again, most people are going to be good. The only thing that we are doing now is causing stress and panic, which actually weakens your immune system. But if you get it, most of you will be okay. If your child, if my, I'm so confident and you know, y'all, that if J, God forbid, if JB gets it or if I get it, we will be okay. Okay, you know, so, and I have a suppressive immune system. Um, the people who won't be okay are the elderly. Smokers are gonna have a hard time because this really infects the lungs, apparently. So, I'm gonna wipe my hands clean of that. Move it on. Um, read your scriptures, girl, and don't overreact, okay? That does, again, that doesn't mean that I'm like, yay, whatever, I'm staying home, I don't care. We have prepared, we have stuff. But now I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? So what to expect on these vlogs? I'm going to be inside the house every so often, but we will be going out. We just won't be inside. Please. Um, I'm going to be taking JB to the park. You're going to be seeing what I'm doing as far as um, his online education. And I'm going to be here in a minute. I'm going to put together a couple of uh, what I call packets based off the information that his teacher is giving us today. So... We switched to online. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk about, actually. We switched to online like most schools have, which is really challenging for kids JB's age, in my opinion. And so his teacher yesterday, we're on Google Classroom. I immediately got on, signed up. I already, you know, did everything I had to do. And I, re I requested for her uh, for the printouts of the actual, because it's easier for a child this age to see it here and then maybe reinforce it online, if that makes sense. So you guys are gonna be seeing a little bit of that. Um, my good friend, Wanda, she is a educator. She's a professor, actually, excuse me. And she's gonna be doing a YouTube, she created a YouTube channel for instructors who are transitioning from instructor-led to online. I've been helping her with her channel. Um, and so yeah, y'all, that's what to expect. So the footage that you're going to see now is from our trip. The first half girl is my frustrations with his school. But look at this, now he's out of school for two weeks. And so now I can, you know, that's why I said you gotta, even though I was frustrated and I'm still, I'm busy at work, you know, it's steady, okay? I'm not overwhelmed, it's steady. We were having issues with his school. Now we're out for school for two weeks and perhaps even longer. So I have this time to actually see if I could do homeschooling with him. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I have this opportunity. For me, this is an opportunity, okay? Um, and yeah, we're gonna be going to the parks. You're gonna be seeing what I'm gonna be cooking with the food that I have here. Um, I probably won't need to go to the grocery store for a good, for a good week and a half. Um, I'm going to be preparing meals for my neighbors because I'm just, I was doing this before, okay? So I'm going to be preparing extra stuff for my neighbors. You're going to see that. So again, the footage you're about to see is what happened in early March and of course our trip to Sedona. So all right, you guys, um, I don't know how often I will be posting, perhaps <clears throat> with vlogs, I'll try to post every three days and i will start releasing hair videos too then all right okay now that's progressive this is kjzz you're listening to freakonomics where do you want to be boo boo want you guys both want you guys both be in it oh that one okay let me stand right here and take it And turn around and then put the picture in front of you. 
I mean the pillow and squat down. <laughs> Hey you guys, hold on girl, let me play some music. You know, I gotta, I gotta get myself into a mood, y'all. I gotta get myself into a mood. If you hear something in the background, it's my husband working out with y'all. I was supposed to start working out in March. We're just in the first beginning of March. Just to let you know, it's the first week of March. That's where we're at now. I don't know when I'm returning to YouTube, so I'm making these little bitty videos in between hopefully i can also record some hair video hair videos like every two weeks or so but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna push it because i already have stuff that is available but y'all hold on let me, let me play me some music girl i discovered this song by a young man named Gallant, is that how you say his name? When I tell you, girl, look at this video. This video made my video may get flagged, but honey, he's fine. He's fine from the neck down. I, I'm I'm bold enough to say that. He's fine from the neck down, just like I'm fine from the neck up. <laughs> um. That falsetto. That that. Mm -mm. Girl, get your depot shot ready, get your ortho trisole, your low lestrin fee. <laughs> Excuse me, get your IUD ready. When I first heard that song, it's called Gentleman, and it came up after I was listening to Lucky Day. Y'all yeah, will have to excuse the background, girl. It is, we are planning a trip to Sedona. I'm taking you on with me. Oh, there's a lot going on. I need to make a list of what I'm going to talk about real quick, because I'm just going to give y'all, if you don't want to hear all this update, don't look at it, you know, fast forward it to, to the Sedona stuff. Let me make a list of some shit that's been, I, I should watch my language. Um, hold on y'all. Oh, cause it's been trying. It has been trying. So at this point now, I've only been gone for a week from when I'm recording this video. Look how thin I look. I'm gonna get into that too. Um, so that week it was a lot it was a lot going on i mean i was stressful i was running on e i wasn't sleeping a lot meaning i was going to bed at nine but then waking up at like three o'clock in the morning and i typically am an early riser but not three in the morning um i was waking up at like i was waking up at 3 33 for a long time and i'm like what the heck does this mean but anyway girl i'm all i'm gonna be all over the place because i'm rushing because i have to go to jb school which is I'm gonna discuss that too. So y'all, just a lot going on. Um, I'm not a sickly person right now. I try to keep my health in order, but I do have some things that are going on with my body that I don't feel comfortable yet sharing it with you guys just because I try to keep some things private even though I am a YouTuber. Is this in focus? Shit, sorry y'all. Um, I try to keep some things private um, just because that that's just what makes me feel safer. I know that doesn't make, make much sense, but I will share this. I've had to find all new doctors in a year and that right there can cause someone anxiety. The one, I found her great, great relationship, had two visits. The visit I saw her in January of this year and she's like, she called me, which is when a doctor calls you directly, I was concerned. She was like, hey, this is Dr. Patterson. Just to let you know, your white blood cells are extremely low. You need to get off this medication. Again, I'm not gonna get into all of the details. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, if you wanna stay on this medication, go to your old doctor. But if you're gonna, if I'm gonna be following you, you can't be on this. You need to stop immediately. I'm like, okay, so I stopped it. Why did her office send me a letter a week later that says, Dr. So-and-so is retiring. You need to find a new doctor within so-and-so days. I'm like, are you serious? So you had me to stop this medication, which, because my white blood cells is low, which, thank you, because y'all know the coronavirus. I'm calling it the coronavirus. The coronavirus is going around, girl. I mean, they people dropping. So thank you for letting me know that. So I took her advice look I'm the type of person I will 
once I have built a reputation with my doctors, I take their advice. So I got off of that shit. And so we started the process of getting on a new medication. We're in it and that process right now. That's what's going on there. Then literally while all this is going on, we are still having trouble with JB and his school. I don't even want to say trouble. There's been multiple issues and y'all, I will say this. It started off just all wayward i mean the first in first grade excuse me in kindergarten he's in first grade now in kindergarten jb had three teachers so again he didn't have stability he didn't have a good foundation getting to this grade first grade and they start off good start off good going great this is first grade everything starts off great and then they started giving us a lot of homework to do all the kids scores start going down everybody's scores started plummeting so Two weeks ago, it's not been two weeks, two weeks ago, I go to pick him up and I can see the look on her face. Her, the look on her face says she's done. And she's like, you know, I don't know what to do anymore. I tried to test him today and he couldn't even sit there and test. Like I couldn't even test him. And I'm looking at her because I'm surprised because on his last report card, he went up in every grade. We celebrated. I mean, he was still struggling in four areas, but overall he's in high B. But now she's saying, you know, I. I don't know what to do and that, so I said okay let's go ahead and schedule a time to meet with each other and you know my I'll bring my husband with us so we we are here to support you we want our son to be successful okay cool from the time we had that appoint that we, we met excuse me to the actual um meeting with her which was just two days ago so much stuff happened in between that you guys my child was coming home every day saying his friends have started to be mean to him. Um, there's a lot going on on the playground and they're being a little rough. So I'm a boss mom and I'm a bear mom. I have no problems approaching another parent and letting them know, hey, just to let you know the kids are being a little bit I'm like, hi, how you doing, girl? Just to let you know. That's how I start out with, hi, how you doing? Just, I just want to bring something to your attention that they're being a little rough on the playground and, you know, it's hurting JB's feelings, okay? I did that twice. Twice. A week went by. One day when I pick up JB, he said, Mommy, I want to go to another school. They were messing with me. So-and-so pushed me on my head. I was crying. Girl, I saw red. When I tell y'all, I, I, I said, okay, we're done. I said, come on, let's go. I went to go talk to uh, the front desk. I said, I need to have a meeting with a principal because this has been going on like every other day on the playground. I don't know if you guys are not watching these kids or what's going on, but now someone has touched my baby. And I have taught JB how to fight you guys, to fight back. I know that that goes against school policy, but I'm sorry, my child is not going to be, he, he has every right to defend himself. He really does, okay? So, that happened. Literally every day some bullshit was happening. I, I, I hate that I'm cursing, but I was very upset. And I'm still a little upset about it. It's just very frustrating because we're still going through the tail end of it. So, every other day something was happening. So, the next day I will go up there. Oh, they called me because she's the, the one lady was like administrating was like, well, we have footage. We have cameras. We can review the field footage. So she calls me. I wasn't available. So I roll up in there. I'm like, I'm here. Can we meet? She's like, oh, yeah. She's like, well, this is how she starts off this meeting, right? Let me back up. Apparently the same day that where the altercation happened where the child touched JB, JB and another boy were fighting over a pencil. Okay, they were fighting over a pencil. The JB grabbed the little boy grabbed it and the little boy got scratched. Okay. They squashed it out. Meaning JB and this other child, they were like they made up. It was good. Cool. Well, apparently this child went back on the playground, told his little friends, and they were like, JB, you're mean. You're mean, JB. Why are you so mean? You know, going back and forth bickering. I was aware of that before I went into this meeting with the administrator, right? So going to the meeting with the administrator, and she's like, well, just to let you know, apparently there has been an, there was an incident with JB and another child regarding a pencil and JB scratched the child. I saw the scratch. This is the, this is the lady speaking to me, right? I saw the scratch on the child's belly and it looked really bad. Um, and apparently, you know, there's some issues with JB 
behavior issues that's been coming up and so that doesn't justify anything but we just want to let you aware excuse me to make you aware of that we have seen the footage and we did see the child jump on jb's neck and we are addressing that because that is absolutely not right so I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this and then i'm like what type of behavior issues are you uh is going on with jb because this is the first i'm hearing of this no one because if this is if this was something that would have been you know uh, addressed we would have helped him with this at home so where he's not acting like a fool at school this is what i'm thinking in my head i'm not telling you this is what i'm thinking so she's like well apparently he's invading people's personal space and um you know sitting too close to people and i'm thinking these are six and seven year olds i said okay thank you so i'm like well let me go up to the to the playground and and see what's going on when i tell you that playground was child i was like where's the zola what, where's the value what the hell that was easily because the first graders and kindergartners are out there all together i'm gonna say about 100 kids there were three teachers assistants three teacher assistants and i'm getting to that watching them 100 plus kids so i've been going up there like every two or, day, two or three days and one of the teacher's assistant assistants she sees me she's like are you here to volunteer i said no i'm just here spying on my child um just to make sure things are all going okay because you know sometimes it could be a little rough on the playground and he's been coming home upset some days because they've been a little physical too physical with him and i said i don't know if he's not coming to you guys because he's just assuming you're big big kids and she kind of laughed at all she's like well actually I'm just, I'm only 18. I said, do what? I said, what? I said, oh, okay. They have kids watching kids. Now, I know I got some young people watching me, but those of you who are young, do you feel like you could watch 100, five, six, seven year olds? And I'm not exaggerating you guys. It is the entire first grade and kindergarten class. There are four kindergarten class. There are, four, it's probably more than 100. There are four kindergarten class four first grade class between 15 to 20 kids per class. That's eight classes, do the math. Three three people watching them, three teenagers. Two teenagers, one adult. But mostly two teenagers in there because of the adult has to go inside. I was like, what the? I don't think a 18 year old, 19 year old, 20, even 20, 21 year old have the mental patience. Hell, sometimes I don't. And I have a child to watch children that, that age. If it was like, 15 16 year olds okay but that young you gotta be very careful so when i heard that i'm up there now every two days volunteering which really i'm i'm really stalking everyone not just my child so now i go up to his school every two days to volunteer doing lunch to make sure no shit don't pop off because this is ridiculous um but in the meantime you know we did have our teacher parent conference with his teacher and She's, you know, she stated that she doesn't feel like he's, you know, slowing in the area. JV is a type of person. I, I knew it. You know, you know, you know, your children he is a free spirit. JV is a type of person. He's almost like a dang on hippie. He, he's, he's like a 50 year old hippie. What's the point of all of this? When I could just get in, into my canoe and study the stars. He's a dreamer. Okay. So to him to sit down and do work is like, what for? So even though he knows the work, even though he knows the answers, he's not going to really try. I have a problem with that, y'all. Because me being, I'm like, I know you, you, you got to make mama proud. But not only that, but just, so we've been working with him. And what I've been doing is making learning fun at home. And again, that's a lot of work. You know, I. I'm working with him between 30 minutes to between 30 to 45 minutes every day after school, you know, after he's had a snack or whatever, 30 to 45 minutes every day after school. We did some different things yesterday as far as spelling because he's been struggling with his spelling and reading. He knows how to read, but just not as fast as the other children. Um, but y'all at this point, I don't even have the energy. I don't have the energy or, or desire, especially with this stuff going on in the playground. And for my understanding, at this school, it gets worse. The bullying, the mean kids at the upper levels, it's horrible. Um, and I know it happens at a lot of schools, not just go. And this is a charter school. 
this this school got a good reputation but i have noticed that the reviews are going down a lot of the teachers are leaving so there's a lot of things going on and i something in me i'm listening to my intuition something's telling me something's off is something's off and so my husband's like well you know because i told him i said we we need to look at other schools and he's like well you know the grass isn't always greener i said well you won't figure it out you won't you won't even know that until you go see how green it is you know what i mean i understand that there, that every school is going to have their own set of problems but we've been having problems from the get-go at this school and i'm done yeah i went ahead and turned that down there is nothing like biting to um a dish of peppers in their lamp I like my peppers to have a bite to them. You know, they're going to be done, but I like them to have a bite to them. So now for seasonings, I have all types of stuff over here. Now, y'all, I stopped using that, you know, that green or that orange um, Cajun seasoning. That stuff has so much sodium. Instead, I've used the New Orleans Cajun and the roasted garlic and herb seasoning by Weber. I get this at Walmart. You can purchase it at your local grocery store. This stuff only has 4% seasoning. That other stuff has so much se uh, sodium. Excuse me. It has 4% sodium. When you get, most of the time, you have pre-mixed um, seasonings. They have a lot of sodium, a lot of salt. So I'm trying to watch that. I also have this Cajun and Creole blend. It's okay. Let's check the sodium content on this. 4%, not bad at all. And this sea salt, Bayou Grill. It's all right. This is mostly mostly better if you're grilling food. Got onion powder. powder got, I got onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, pink Himalayan salt, paprika. What is this? I think my husband had this out. Chipotle. We ain't going to use that. Let's go for a little bit longer and take these off. I want to use this same pan to whip up my spinach. But I'm going to wait till my potatoes are almost done. Because it's not going to take that much time at all to put together the spinach and salmon. I like to cook my food with the food that takes the longest. Cook that first. This is why my potatoes on are on here. Anything that takes less than 15 minutes, I cook that halfway through. So everything is done at the same time, okay? guys we are in Sedona how do you like it baby good. good let me make this brighter this is the living quarters area they have a fireplace that's timed we have a living room area this is the kitchen area we have a dining room set complete dining room set the bathroom was around the way um this is where my husband and I will be sleeping at this is a queen is this a queen size bed or queen king queen looks like a queen size bed i know but boy, it's a it's a king it just doesn't have yeah it's a king um very nice really 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 hey, nice mama, look, hmm. look at this closet oh there's another closet is there another closet in here i yeah. wonder if there's more there's a locker up there okay and the iron, iron. Yeah, i know i can't pronounce nothing no. iron why is the iron <laughs> like he was almost three going down the stairs we were mm -hmm. upstairs yep yeah, he and he was set. He set out. You remember, baby? You set out on the balcony. Yeah, I remember. I remember standing and sitting on the like on the chair, the two chairs. They were building these roundabouts and stuff. Yeah, but I'm gonna show you. I, well, I thought it was the Hyatt. Remember we did this wine tasting? Yeah. Uh-uh, that's nasty probably. Maybe we shouldn't go down the rail because he'll need something to hold. Hold my hand, Jimmy. Yeah, we're gonna visit some shops. There's a lot of shops over here, okay? Yeah, the pink jeeps are right there. <sighs> oh, 
and there we have to wait for the light to cross the street. Ooh. This is where we're gonna come at late tomorrow, okay? Okay. Look! Hard or fast or something. That's the basic default. What do you have there? Now this right here is one of the restaurants. The Cowboy Club. It is. So so yeah, so well it's the Cowboy Club. Don't touch it, baby. No, don't don't touch anything, okay? Gotta be careful. And the other ones out there are for Isn't that big? Yes, I said to him because he was asking me and like what we do. I'm gonna sit I'm gonna sit outside. You want one of these, boo boo? You want one of these? Yeah. Which one do you want? Oh, look at this. Stone bottles. Wow. Can I get a stone bottle? Yeah, you want one of these? <gasps> it is cold. I thought I saw it over there somewhere. Come on, baby. I'm here. Yeah. Look at this stuff. You see this? It's really nice. This is so Look at that. Look at that. What are they doing? Oh, they're looking. They're looking at some of them probably going out. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> oh Lord. Stuffed animal JB. <laughs> yeah. You baiting me? Yeah. I mean, how are you gonna eat that? What's that? So you can see that diagonal line cut right through the rift in the rainstorm. So clearly, I probably will be tomorrow, but <laughs> we were out here in the rainstorm. You can see waterfalls coming off right there. Oh, all those spots, yay. all of them. You can see out the distance there, that's kind of that silhouette of a mountain range. It's called the Hualapai Mountains. It's over by Kingman, Arizona. So, mm -hmm. probably about 120 miles away. So, a nice clear day, easily. You can see 100, 120 miles. Mm -hmm. By the way, this one's tilted to the north, the Kaibab Plateau is tilted to the south. Hey you guys, we are out here hiking. Well, I can't hike y'all, my asthma is flared up. Um, when I get to higher elevation, and it's not really that high here, between 4,000 and 5,000 feet, 
but any difference in elevation with my asthma and everything it just gets out of control so i gotta be careful i started getting chest pain i started getting a little bit of chest pain yesterday but it comes and goes Wait, let's wait for your daddy. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is the open area with a lot of secret areas. <gasps> Look at this, like, what does this remind you of? This reminds me of these hoopers biggest in Ocarina. We got things. Yep. I'll have daddy to take you. I can't go up there. Oh gosh, you're not talking about Zelda. Oh. Hey you guys, it is our last night in Sedona. Don't get too much into the camera, Jay, because you don't have any clothes on. It's our last night in Sedona, and it's been a great, great vacation just to get away. Um, and those of you who don't know, we only live, we only live an hour and a way, an hour and a half away from uh, Sedona. That's how far up north we are. But um, it was very crowded, because it is spring break weekend. Um, I was trying to explain to you guys while we were up on the mountains that I was having issues with elevation. Normally, I don't have any problems with uh, elevation at, in Sedona, but I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit older now um, and just, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I've been having some, some problems only when I'm doing something that's really physically, you know, um, and also, now I think about it, I haven't even been working out. That's why working out is so good for you, especially if you have asthma. Um, I haven't been doing any type of workout activity in months. So, girl, yeah. So, when we were, went up, where did we go? We went up a flight of stairs the second day. And I noticed when I got up to the top, I was a little breathy. The air up here is really thin, you guys. We're about 5,000 feet above sea level. Um, and as I tried to say, when we first went to, to, we went to Flagstaff, done. We went to the Grand Canyon. Oh, we had to leave early. <laughs> After 24 hours, people who have upper respiratory issues, your body, your body will start to react to. So yeah, when we went to the Grand Canyon a couple of years ago, that was the worst feeling ever. We had to leave early and come back down to Sedona. Um, but no, even with that, it's been okay because... <laughs> Just walking around, normally okay. But if I go up and fly the stairs or if I try to go hiking, it ain't happening. You know, I start to get out of breath and my chest started to hurt a little bit. But I have my inhaler. <coughs> the, the, um, Jeep ride. The Jeep ride. Yeah, that was really fun, y'all. <coughs> JB's asthma is acting up too, but he's okay. Um, his asthma started to act up before we even got here. Child, why we look red? Don't do that to my thing. But this you is. You look red because of the thing on the camera. I know. Y'all, when I tell you I'm going to have to do a, a detox, we have been drinking. Like, our hotel has $5 margaritas. I mean, we don't even drink hard liquor inside of our house. We only drink it outside socially, so like once a month. Uh, so, yeah. When we go back home today, though, I am I need to just do nothing but salary. Eat a bunch of salary and drink water. But no, this has been really nice. It's just, everything is so beautiful here. I say, if you can, you know, get a chance to come visit it, it's not what you think. It's funny, the people that were, everyone we've been meeting is from Texas. So the people that were on the Jeep tour with us, they were from, um, originally from Amarillo, but they live in Dallas. And then the people we hooked up with last night, um, 
at the campfire because they have campfires out here. So we've been hanging out outside because it's nice. They build up these huge fires, you know, on the patio. They call it the porch, the back porch. And we have s'mores and we have my margaritas. You can eat out there, play games. JV's been playing games. And so anyway, those people were from Houston. And so just speaking to people, you automatically assume that Arizona is desert. Well, it's not. Um, you go all the way up to Flagstaff where there's trees, there's pine trees, and it's a forest. Um, and it snows up there. They have something called Snowball. And you come out to Sedona where you have, all, and you have the Grand Canyon. And you come out to Sedona where you have trees and you have the red rocks. And the air is so clean and crisp, but then, <gasps> <laughs> I think after a while, if you live here, your body starts to get used to it. This child. All right, y'all. I'm going to relax a little bit. I already started packing last night. Um, yeah, that's it.